After weeks of unanswered questions, we are getting a better picture of the conditions of the refugee shelter at Holloman Air Force Base. Moments ago, two New Mexico Congresswomen, one from each political party, toured the facility. ABC 7's Kate Beery asked them how many Afghan refugees are in Alamogordo and also tried to get an idea of how expensive this mission is. Kate reports from our New Mexico mobile newsroom. Two New Mexico congresswomen say Holloman Air Force Base is currently sheltering 2,000 refugees from Afghanistan and has the ability to shelter 5,000 refugees. We still do not know how much this mission is costing taxpayers. I will tell you there's a lot of little children. Seeing a family with a little boy who is about three years old carrying an American flag. Congresswoman Yvette Harrell and Melanie Stansbury both touring the refugee shelter at Holman Air Force Base. Airmen welcoming families, men, women and children on base, housing them in what they call a village. As many as 5,000 refugees by the middle of this month. Congresswoman Harrell said she is trying to learn more about the vetting process. We want to make sure that the vetting process is complete. We know that what we're talking about in some cases takes several months to go through. Congresswoman Stansbury was satisfied with what she saw. People have been um, scanned, their paperwork has been looked at. By the time they're getting here, they've already gone through three or four major stops with both the military and the State Department. But how much will this mission cost taxpayers? Estimate of how much it costs to transport the refugees, to shelter them, to vaccinate them, give them any medical attention they might need? I don't know the answers to those questions. Any idea how much taxpayers will pay and have paid for the transportation of the refugees, the shelter? No. That's a great question. I have no idea. It was a lengthy conversation with both of the congressional representatives, and you can watch it in full on KVIA.com. Stay tuned for our continuing coverage on ABC 7 at 10 on the thousands of refugees from Afghanistan who now call the borderland their temporary home. Reporting from Holloman Air Force Base with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Kate Beery, ABC 7. For comparison, Holloman Air Force Base has the capacity to shelter 5,000 refugees. Fort Bliss has the capacity to shelter 14,000 refugees. Congresswoman Harrell compared Holloman to a village and Fort Bliss to a city.